Hello friends, this is Durga from ITVersity and as part of performance tuning in Oracle, I'll be covering about uh, a, a very important concept called uh, AWR, Automatic Workload Repository and uh, um, it, it actually computes statistics of all the executions that are happening in the database and store into um, a set of tables in the database and the Oracle Enterprise Manager provides you a um, uh, user interface or visualization of those details in the form of something called AWR reports. AWR stands for Automatic Workload Repository where the bunch of tables will actually store the statistics and the uh, Oracle Enterprise Manager provide it as reports. There is no need of having um, OEM uh, or Oracle Enterprise Manager to view the AWR reports. You can do it from command line also. But for now, I will primarily focus on how you can play with uh, AWR using uh, uh, Oracle Enterprise Manager. I will cover command line aspects of it later and also I will cover a lot of details about AWR later. For now, we will just see how we can actually quickly get the AWR because uh, uh, in, uh, in the subsequent videos when I actually talk about performance tuning, I have to revisit uh, AWR reports. Um, and uh, towards the end of the course, I will cover um, AWR in detail. Okay, so you, again, you can go to the home of Oracle Enterprise Manager. I need to log in here. So make sure you log in as a, a system, a system or sys, so that you have. Uh, complete permissions when you are trying to explore. Um, if you have only read-only permissions, you will not be able to do whatever I am trying to do right now. You need to at least have uh, DBA and I think you, you need to have additional permissions also. But if you have system or sys permissions, you can do whatever I am trying to do as part of this video. So we are at the cluster database level and you can click on performance. At the bottom, you will see AWS or you can actually click on server click on the server and here you can see stat under statistics management you can see two links automatic workload repository and AWS baselines this link of automatic workload repository will actually facilitate you to change the settings at which this um, statistics should be um, uh, at which snapshot should be taken on top of the statistics. So as I, as I have mentioned to you earlier, AWR is nothing but a bunch of uh, system tables or Oracle predefined tables which will compute the statistics. And the snapshots represent the aggregation of those statistics so that we can actually uh, use those to analyze the, the issues uh, for that time range. By default, uh, the snapshot retention is 8 days, which means that all the reports which are created out of the AWR tables will be retained for 8 days. Even the data will be retained for at least 8 days. After 8 days, it will be rolling uh, purge. So the older snapshots and older data will be uh, deleted. And uh, snapshot interval minutes is uh, the parameter which will actually create the snapshots uh, every um, uh, every interval of this time by default it's 60 minutes so in this case um, at every hour like last time it took at 3 o'clock the next time it will take at 4 o'clock so every hour it will take the snapshot from the statistics that are collected in the past one hour and uh, if you have if you logged in as a appropriate user uh, you can also change the settings using OEM you can click just click on edit and here you can um, uh, change the retention period um, by default it's eight days if you want to just keep it for three days you can keep it for three days also or if you want to retain it forever you can retain it as long as you have uh, enough storage in your database it is it is fine you can retain as long as you want and then collection by default it's one hour and uh, OEM provides uh, other uh, intervals also like you can change it to 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 2 hours. 
that does mean that you have only six options you can actually uh, change it to whatever value you want but using the oem you can only change it to um, to one of the six values if you want to turn off aws snapshot collection you can just turn it off and uh, there won't be any baselines or reports that will be generated at regular intervals collection level again uh, there are three types of collection levels basic typical and all so when you say all it will collect all kinds of statistics including OS statistics it, it will collect uh, almost everything there is no, not much significant difference between all or typical but all um, uh, the delta between all and typical are um, the reports that are not uh, uh, very important on daily basis so there is no point in uh, unnecessarily uh, collecting statistics at level all typical is more than enough for most of the scenarios but uh, there is a huge difference between basic and typical uh, so we will leave it as typical if you want to know the difference just uh, go to uh, google and search for statistics underscore level oracle 11g because i am demonstrating on 11g and it will explain you what all are covered in basic typical and all i am leaving it as typical and click on apply which will take back uh, to uh, no sorry it will not take us back we have to again click on this and go to automatic workload repository and uh, now let's edit uh, collection level apply okay i thought it will take us back but it's not yeah i just hit the back arrow you should not do that i think uh, changing to uh, collection level uh, changing collection level is not uh, related to changing the automatic workload repository settings it's a uh, different so that's why it is taking to a different page and you might have to have a, uh, you might have to log in as sys user so that you can actually change it to basic or all if you want for now what we will do is we will change the retention period to 3 and uh, let's try changing uh, the snapshot level to 5 minutes but using OEM we cannot do that there is a trick you just click on show SQL and it will uh, uh, so this 4320 4, is for 3 days it's in minutes 16 to 24 is uh, uh, how much 60 into 24 into 3 which is 4320 so it's three days the first parameter is for three days and the second parameter is for one hour but let's say we want to change it to five minutes we can copy this we can log into the uh, cluster or you can even use uh, um, sql developer also as long as you have uh, uh, as long as you log in using a appropriate user in this case it's 129 let me do this let me directly log into from here i'm logging using sql developer as system user okay connect so it will open a new window and then we will paste that code and we will make the necessary modifications and we will run that script uh, to make it uh, uh, whatever value we want so in this case i just want to change it to 5 and uh, we, we will be creating snapshot uh, every 5 minutes and then those snapshots will be retained for 3 days at the least now we can run this script by logging in a system Okay, I think I cannot give 5 minutes. Let's change it to 10 minutes. So I'm not sure it could be because of the, uh, because I have not used sys to login. So I'm trying to log in as sys and try to run this command and see if it executes. No. 
system moving window baseline size 691200 greater than retention let me change it to 8 show sql every 15 minutes show sql and then choose this one let me run this one here yeah so it seems uh, the minimum is eight days um, i'm not sure how to change it to less than eight days but when i change it to eight days um, 11,520 is uh, uh, eight days in minutes so now the snapshots will be collected every 15 minutes once it is there if you want to see the um, baselines you can go to the automatic workload repository uh, under, under edit you can change uh, the settings and if you want to look at the snapshots you can click on the snapshots and you can see that there are two snapshots because this is this has been running for last two hours and uh, if you want to look at the report you just click on the id it is the first snapshot after an instance shutdown so it's not working so let's look at the second snapshot you can see that it is giving the details about um, uh, the time frame what have what is being happening so cpu it's pretty it's almost zero and uh, you can go to rest of the stuff so global cache it's uh, rack specific you will not see these uh, uh, these details in non rack databases and then this is about uh, uh, query parsing and all those things this is redo etc so all the de uh, it, it it will give higher level details but if you want to see the detailed report you have to click on the report and then you will see the uh, aw report uh, which is generated off of the snapshot um, between one o'clock and two o'clock or two o'clock and three o'clock so it will take time to generate the report so let it finish then i will show so it is taking very long time to run um, probably because the, the database is just created and statistics are not computed yet so i will uh, uh, record another video to just give you an overview about how to read the aws report once it is generated so for now this is it a primer on um, uh, awr how to change the settings by using oem and also how to generate the report from the existing snapshot it also provides the feature where you can actually uh, generate the report um, uh, for uh, custom uh, timelines also so you can go to the server and click on uh, awr baselines and uh, you can click on create here you can actually uh, say whether it is single or repeating then cl click on continue and then you can give the snapshot range you can give the start time and end time and you can actually uh, generate report off of the reports so if you have a 10 minute uh, interval report um, and if you want to generate report for one hour using those 10 minute reports you can specify those uh, ranges and you can create baseline of multiple um, uh, snapshots also very important feature which will help quite a bit when you want to see what is the uh, uh, most time taking uh, uh, query on a given day or when um, uh, uh, something like that so once uh, i am able to see the uh, awr reports in timely fashion i will demonstrate i will uh, uh, demonstrate uh, uh, the re reports and also i will help you uh, to understand how to interpret the awr report that being said that's it for now uh, i hope you are enjoying the content on on my channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide feedback or ask any technical questions please use the comment section of the video and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.